In a magical galaxy far away, the planet Jojo was shining like the brightest twinkling star. Made of sugar, the planet Jojo was the yummiest in the entire universe. And there, under a pink cloud, soft as feathers, little aliens named Bobas had another busy day. Every morning they would get up, comb their puffy bodies in rainbow colors, and rush to the candy factory. On their way to work, the little clumsy and funny bobbers liked to nibble on sweets. They would pick chewing gum from lush trees and make the most beautiful bubbles ever. Hey, let me out of here! The candy factory was located in the heart of their beautiful city. There, bobbers made the most delicious treats using their cooking skills. Although machines and robots did most of the work, no candy would have been so tasty if little bobbers hadn't added a little of their magic touch. Sprinkled with yummy crumbs and topped with all kinds of powder, the candies would line up in a variety of shapes, colors, and flavors. Little bobbers liked to eat a lot. Each of their meals was full of chocolate, lollipops, and snacks. And when they filled their chubby bellies, they enjoyed the rest of the day guzzling a dessert, more candy. And they would champ, munch, and crunch over and over again. Until one day something terrible happened. As always, Blue Bobber boarded his spacecraft and headed for Sugar Mountain. But when he got there, all the sugar was gone. I must be dreaming. He rubbed his eyes and turned left toward the sugar meadow. But the meadow was also empty, without a single grain of sugar. He ran to the factory as fast as he could. Storming into the operation room, he started shouting, Big Boba! Big Boba! Big Boba stood behind the control panel, where he watched everything that was happening in the factory. What's wrong? he asked the little panting and upset Blue Boba. We ran out of sugar, Blue Boba said. We ran out of what? Big Boba wiggled his antennae. But that's impossible. Big Boba pressed some buttons, and images of the entire planet appeared on the big screen. And to his surprise, he couldn't find any part of the planet filled with sugar. The mountains were barren, the rivers dried up, and the fields were empty with scattered craters. The silence spread through the room. All the bobbers were taken aback, and then panic swept through the city. Bobbers ran back and forth, bumping into each other and colliding. I won't have a tasty garden any more, Pink Bobber exclaimed. We're going to starve, Green Bobber yelled. Or worse, we will lose weight, Yellow Bobber cried out. We're going to be skinny. Ah!